because Gwyneth Paltrow sells vagina scented candles. <laughs> welcome back to Hello, another... welcome back to another year. My bad, you got it. Welcome back to another <laughs> are, you, are you gonna are you gonna Go ahead, go ahead. You got it. You got it. I'm Iron Fives. With me always my co-host, the fish named Wanda. How are we doing, brother? <laughs> okay. Okay. That is That's a great good. movie, by the way. Okay. Hey. All right. Um. Cool. Uh, since you're pouring alcohol, let us start off with the uh, presumably alcohol. Start off with the uh, opening question. So, is it wrong for somebody who is sober to own an alcohol company? AKA Jennifer Lopez. Word. Who is starting her brand of alcohol. And I guess she don't drink. But she's a, she's, she's a pusher. She's a pusher now. The but people are still... Is she still Jenny from the block, or was she ever from the block? Though has anybody confirmed this? Were you ever fooled by the rocks that she had? Okay, the fact that you know more than <laughs> Jenny from the block. I mean, I used to know a little, but now I know a lot. I almost don't even want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No matter where this goes, I know where we came from. Uh, <laughs> you know, I question myself sometimes. Like, when I look at the friends and the people that I surround myself with, sometimes I question myself. Man, you're drinking from a chalice, you got a fucking DJ headphones on and shit, but... Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, um, is that cool? Is it cool? Is it all right? Can we do that? I mean, yeah. Because uh, you won't fuck up your overhead like Mike Tyson did on last week's episode. So, yeah, it's cool. All right. Well, but like, where do you draw the line, though? On selling alcohol when you don't drink? Or just vices? You know, like, oh. I mean, so like, what if, what if, what if you, I am fives, used to be, uh, I don't know, let's say a crackhead, right? Really extreme. Yeah, like let's let's just pretend for, you know, S and G's, that you were a crackhead. Mm-hmm. And that you uh you, you beat the demon right, and you got sober. Can I sell crack? Would, been, would you sell crack? I mean, if I was purely business-based, yes, because you know your clientele, you know how to market, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you know the the ins and outs of the, the market. Okay. So, so yes, is your answer. You think that's yeah. cool? Okay. Yeah. No, okay. I'm not saying it's good or, you know, virtuous, no, but no, I no, do no, it. No, 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 it's fine. I just, I just, I just want to pick your brain. No, that's... I see where you stand now. Thank you. Would you do it? All right. So our next article is. <laughs> Are you gonna be on my crack fucked up black people? So I wouldn't do it. I mean, are we talking about crack or alcohol? If I was a recovering crackhead, would I sell crack? Would you? So, P. Diddy's been in the news lately, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Which, uh, I mean, yeah, we do have a P. Diddy episode called P. Diddy, huh? Yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm, it's, I feel kind of bad for it, but also not because it, it kind of a little bit makes sense, the video that I've seen, but I got trapped in this YouTube video that's like, 
oh, people doing shady shit in Hollywood and this and this and that. And then we mm -hmm. were talking about how, like, he's making all this money off Biggie and shit and off of his, you know, records. All the money off Biggie. His career, honestly. But So, but apparently there have been, like, multiple interviews that Jamie Foxx has given talking about how uh, wild these P. Diddy parties get. Right? So, this is fine, right? And you can assume that if he's been famous for a while, he's probably been having these kind of parties for a while. Uh, but put that together with the fact that Usher was sent by the label execs mm -hmm. at the age of 14 to go live with P. Diddy, then Puff Daddy, for a summer. I mean, that might explain why Usher has an ailment. I mean, got them cordyceps down there. Bruh. Uh, but, I mean, same thing happened with um, Charlie Sheen, so. Yeah, right? With but... the old boy and Charlie Sheen. He was living with Charlie Sheen when he was, like, 14, 15. And fucking ruined his career because of drugs and vices. So, Usher just made it out, I guess. But he didn't make it out unscathed. Did he you, got that did last you, uh, of us attached to him. What's, what's homie's name? I don't I'm hella mad that I just seen it. Is it is it YK Osiris or some shit like that? I I've heard of him, but I don't know who he is. Like okay, that. so they, they did an a, uh, interview on I think the Breakfast Club, right? They be starting shit. Okay. They they do be starting shit though. <laughs> like they For be the sake of starting like shit, they just be starting shit, bro. But it's the way he reacted, bro. Because one of the homies was like, "Oh, okay, well, like." You famous now, so like, let's hear some rumors. And he's homie YK was just like, ha -ha, you know, eh -eh, you know, I heard some. I ain't gonna say it. And it was like, no, nah, I say it. And he was like, ha -ha, you know, the one about me and Diddy in Jamaica. So, yeah. So apparently, him and Diddy was in Jamaica. Oh no, we support trans people. We do support the the T and the alphabet. The elemental P people. Moving on. <laughs> but yeah, so the long and short of it is I guess uh P. Diddy just be uh be be grooming is what it is what it seems like. I won't I won't put it out there because I don't have the money to get sued. So allegedly. 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 Uh P. Diddy just be out there uh grooming the young boys. I mean, to do allegedly, I'm not surprised by that if it is, well, it's a, not a price, but it's allegations. Um, this nigga done made 37 different uh, groups in his career, and none of them made it. But he dated somebody from all of them. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to move on from that real quick uh, with these allegations before that shit comes back to bite us in 30 years when we're successful. Did we ever talk about the serial sperm donor? Because now I'm just going back through finding extra shit. So uh, I assume we didn't. Serial sperm donor rumored to have fathered 550 kids is being sued for increasing the risk of incest. The thing just got made it worse. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? A serial sperm donor, like, okay. And that's that's a weird statement that I've never like I've never heard those words together. But so quick breakdown: He's donated to thirteen clinics, eleven in the Netherlands alone. Was blacklisted, which is apparently a thing you can do for sperm donors. Blacklisted in twenty seventeen for fathering one hundred and two children. Under Dutch guidelines, donors are not allowed to father more than twenty five children or impregnate more than twelve women to prevent incest or inbreeding or such like psychological problems. So then he just moved and started up again. How, how, how much of that was a problem before to where you was like, nah, niggas can't have more than 25 kids. At some point, there was became a fucking issue. What happened like, in right, the Netherlands? Bro. Nigga, you know what happened in the fucking Netherlands. So That's he why had, all y'all got the blonde hair, blue eyes, and be speaking all that. So he, uh, he now lives in Kenya. He donated uh, Netherlands... It's, Denmark, no. Ukraine, and yeah, so they filed against him because... No, okay, that's his mistake. You don't do the Netherlands 
Yep. Ukraine. And then be like, you know where else needs my sperm? Denmark Kenya. and Kenya. <laughs> Fuck Denmark Kenya. and Kenya. Yeah, so they so five hundred and fifty kids this thing has produced. And they blacklisted them. So uh he can't do it no more. Which they rightfully should, because calm down. I mean, first of all, it gotta hurt. It has to hurt at this point. <laughs> you gotta stop. Yeah, because at at min, well, I mean, the when he got first got a uh, blacklist, it was in twenty seventeen. So that was a five, what do you mean first six years got ago. Black, how do you first get like blacklisted? He got blacklisted from ended, the right? Netherlands. The Netherlands blacklisted him in twenty seventeen because he went to eleven clinics. Imagine. Imagine the Being last said, one where you just like finish in the room and it's like you're done and then they're like John Wick five security minutes walking them out and shit, bro. <laughs> Contract <laughs> ending in three minutes. <laughs> the fucking text message goes out to all the other sperm banks in the fucking and Netherlands. He's in that motherfucker trying to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Super pause. Super pause. <laughs> excommunicado in 30 seconds. You say, ah, excommunicado in 30 seconds. What? <laughs> All right, moving along. Um, you nasty wait, motherfucker, wait. you. Wait, wait, wait. Can we make a parody called John Dick and make that the movie? Um, I'm fairly confident there probably is already a John Dick movie. There's probably a. There's probably one. Yeah, if if you could think at the end of the internet's done it, so. Okay, so next one, because apparently I got more than I thought I did. Ohio man mistakenly called dumpster company, thinking he was hiring a hitman to kill his own son. Ohio man, keep that in mind. Ohio man. Yannick did he call from Ohio. the uh, Cleveland Public Library? Did he call it Cleveland? He called the Cleveland Public Library. Can I get the uh, the hey, web company? A, yeah. I need three dating hotlines and the Hitman Company. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But she finna come back out here and tell some stories. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> bro, so you're an idiot. Why are you like? First of all, Did any it? any Hitman isn't gonna be a phone call. Yeah, like, that's... <laughs> that's number one, Kyle. Like, one and a be a phone call. Man. What is this? Yeah, no, nah, bro. Like, you you big tripping, by the way. Like... Hey, but, so, but why did he want to Abraham his son, though? Didn't read into it. I just know he's was an it, idiot. Was that even the right... Was it Abraham? Who was about to off his son? Oh, wow. you're talking about Bible when he took him to the mountain was about to do and go. It was like, hold on, yeah. JK. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird God to serve, right? <laughs> like, hey, blood, you know how you could really show you let me kill your oh, yeah. son. He's, hey, bro, do me a favor. Take your son, the good one, because you got 14 of them. <laughs> take, the, take the one that, like, actually does the farm work and serves me and listens. Take him up to the mountain. All right, cool. You go up to the mountain. Murder that nigga right now. Alright. <laughs> oh, you crazy crazy. Did you, did, you, okay. did you pierce flesh? Oh, good man, good man. Good man, good man. Good, good man, good man. <laughs> but also, though, I feel like there's got to be at least a few hitmen who work for garbage companies. That's a good... It's a good, it's a good cover. Uh, it's a good it's cover. A good cover. Mm -hmm. As long as you can switch routes enough, or just, or at least like a, a hitman with a connect in the garbage company, so yeah. you just throw out your body. It's like I didn't know what the fuck I was throwing out. I mean, it's just... Yeah, you just throw that shit. You could just dump the bag in. It just gets mixed in. You don't know which stop it was from. It's you do just neighborhoods and get yeah. mixed in, just dumped. Oh my god, we picked up a body. Where? Ooh. Could have been forty fifth. Could have been Second Street. Who knows? Yeah. But also, again, 
what did the son do that could make this nigga that, that bad? bad? Don't know. Man. So if you want to murder your son, don't call trash companies. Speaking of hiring people, man hires prostitute from dating site. Gets to the hotel room. Her daughter show up. Oh my god. Talk about a weird boner. <laughs> no the fuck you that, didn't. That has got to be the most awkward stiffy in history. <laughs> I think it was sitting there poised, ready to go. <laughs> He did it a little fluffing and everything, blood. Sandra, huh? Oh my! Okay. That's enough for that one. All right. <laughs> uh, Florida man allegedly shoots couple in McDonald's drive-through because their order was taking too long. So he and okay, line, but- they order some shit. It takes too long. He like, bruh. Y'all niggas order too much. Where did he shoot him though? Because like if you get if you like graze him in like the foot or something, right? Like that's just a warning shot. And also, nigga, this I ain't Harlem it. Nights, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, like he just looked at each other like, yeah, do it. Up. All right, it's good. How you get that mad at McDonald's that you start shooting niggas though? I mean, I mean. No, no. I was going to try to play devil's advocate. <laughs> There's you no can't. support in shooting niggas in a big dog. You, you make pull up to that line, you know what you're getting into. Just being in Florida, though. Like, I feel like any fast food restaurant drive through line all in Florida. All bets are off. All bets are off. You're liable Florida. to get shot. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, but just come on. What are we doing here? All right, next one. Texas man previously exonerated in fatal stabbing he did not commit has now been arrested for a deadly shooting of a rage incident. So that's the system's fault. Go on. I blame, I blame the system for you lock this man up for a crime he didn't commit. Mm-hmm. And he's in there for, I'm assuming, years. Mm-hmm. All right. That changes the person, especially knowing you're innocent. And then you get out. Yeah, yeah. Maybe his fuse is a little bit shorter than it used to be. Most times when they're innocent, they go in and learn how to prove their innocence. Like 90% of the time. So he learned how to prove his innocence and then got out and was like, how to get away with murder. Like, what? (laughs) I forgot. I forgot. Is this person black or what, what's the what's the white Asian? They look like James Evans, nigga. He's black. Brown. Look like he run McDowell's, nigga. Um, <laughs> they got the golden arches. We got the golden arcs. <laughs> but but like, how okay. you gonna get away yeah. with murder? Maybe. Nigga went from Ray Lewis to Aaron Hernandez real quick. What and are they, we doing? Ooh. That's a bar. Yeah, take a sip. Take a sip. <laughs> so he got out for some shit that he they said didn't he do. didn't do, but he so what you think? You think he probably did the first one? I think he had involvement now. Uh <laughs> I think he had something to do with the first. This is a repeat behavior. So. <laughs> Not because you like the fatal stabbing. You you made it out. So they say you didn't kill the nigga we thought you killed. And then you got angry while driving and killed a nigga. Maybe. maybe oh, he maybe. did? Oh, he killed? Oh, I thought he just. I didn't know he popped him. Oh, yeah. Popped him for a good time. So exonerated for fatal stabbing. And was arrested for deadly shooting and road rage. Yeah, maybe like that nigga. Maybe, 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 uh, maybe. some people getting fired in the courthouse. 
Yeah, but like, who was like, you know, I believe his story. He's rehabilitated. Name, like, no, no. Nah, Y'all system don't about. rehabilitate. So he he's definitely not rehabilitated. No. Not, in, not even a little bit. All right. So, uh, one of the last ones I got. I want to get this one done at least if we run out of time. Okay. A man engaged to a doll. No. 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 I gotta get through it. A man engaged to a doll has announced the arrival of his third child. No, the fuck he didn't. Uh, no, na no. Name Redacted has documented his relationship with a doll who goes by the name Natalia. Plans to marry her. They have already had two children and have now recently welcomed a third into their life. Who's redacting the name? Because if it's you, I'm angry. Because I need to know this person's name. I'm redacting it. Are you redacting it? Christian Montenegro. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay. So, all right, let's let's piece by piece this. Yep. Man. Yep. Engaged. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. To a dog. Mm -hmm. It's. Yep. Why aren't you even married? Like, it's a fucking doll. <laughs> like, you could just marry her if you wanted to, bro. That's the hang up, the marital status? That's, that's like, where we're stopping? That's, that's first. We're going to get, we're going to go line by okay. line on this. Because, you know, Man. you got to, you got to get engaged to make sure it's what you want, you know? Okay. But that leads me to my other point. You've already had to. Now, as a person who has a kid out of wedlock and is about to be married, right? I can I can excuse this, but when it is absolutely fabricated in your mind, like that's they, but that's it. Look, that's a testament to what he thinks of himself. He doesn't. See, I'm even surprised think. that you just said he has two already, and you let that go. You let that. Part go. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. All right. So this this man who is engaged to a mm -hmm. doll, mm -hmm. right? Is because he controls the relationship 100% and doesn't even think that he's good enough for marriage quite yet. True. So he doesn't, you're not even the husband material to a doll. Oh, she's not wife material. Or maybe she's not the wife material. <laughs> I'm looking at this through the wrong lens. That's why I got you. <laughs> Maybe she's not wife material. He was just waiting. Because maybe the first two dolls didn't meet the expectations. <laughs> so he needed to see if the third baby doll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's get to these babies. Yep. Let's <laughs> talk about these babies, which I'm assuming have a fixed age because they're not actually alive um you'd be assuming right okay so, so i may have not talked about some things in this article for oh, this moment okay. right here there's hiding shit so, so there's pictures attached to this article no so he had the doll laying on the table with the little shawl over the legs. Okay. Had, okay. Had a had a dog doctor peeking. A dog. <laughs> okay. And then peeking. Three pictures. There's three pictures. <laughs> You know, legs of the shawl, doll doctor peeking. And the next one was 
doll on table with Shaw. Doll doctor. Baby doll. On the table. Okay. Out of the Shaw. Hey, Katrina's gonna have fun with these pictures, my nigga. But, but like, what? Like that's what I'm saying. Like, at what point do you like? How long do you be like? Oh, this doll probably shouldn't be an infant anymore. Like, do you just swap dolls and be like, "This is new jit"? Like, I don't, I don't know, but um, because you can't actively see the pictures. I hope you can see this somehow. What in the fucking? <laughs> She'll put the America pictures up for fucking... the for the the viewers at home, but um, America, fuck yeah! Not America. This whole article's in Spanish, nigga. This is not not in America. No, I'm saying, but it looks like the fucking. Oh, he named the kid America. Sammy Montenegro, by the way. So there's that. That's that's that's, that's beautiful. Sammy Montenegro. Yep. The doll boy wonder. But, okay. Just who supported this? Like, who... who... Bruh. And multiple babies. So, can you, you can't see that. Damn. I wish you could see it. So that's that's the, that's the doc. He made a video, bruh, of the doctor in there and then the baby with the doctor. And they had that picture of them all happy. In fact, that's the third kid, though. So he did this three times. That's what I'm saying. Three like, I seen one kid get born, and I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> but okay. But the dog, who now it's, it's this doll. bitch ain't even wiped material, you know. I mean, three babies deep, and she still can't even get a ring on it. <laughs> she 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 got a temp ring after two. She got the problem. He, he, he is Hispanic, so you know. I have no reaction to that because I don't I don't know when. I mean, no, he got three kids before he got like two kids before he got married, and the third when he was supposed to marry. It's, it's kind of. Standard on par. I'm not choosing no fights for my amigos. <laughs> <laughs> now it's amigos. Mm, it's the third kid, Holmes. All right. Uh. <laughs> fucking hate you. What is my fucking shit? We love our people from South America. Shout out to Katrina's wife. She's Venezuelan. We love you, Vivi. Anywho, BB the Venezuelan, get the fuck out of here. Is that real? <laughs> I think she's Venezuelan. I might have forgot I've been drinking. Um, she's definitely from South America, though. It's Viviana. <laughs> Speaking of uh, talking about this uh, doll person giving birth, so I think we can segue into uh, weird vaginas from that. If it's safe to say. Can we? Is that what uh, we're doing? Okay. Uh, yeah, because Gwyneth Paltrow sells vagina-scented candles. Boo. <laughs> yeah, Iron Man's wife. Boo. Boo. Boo, and boo, she, boo. She named the shop Goop. Okay, I've heard of Goop before, all right? <laughs> I've heard of it. This and is probably like, gonna become a bit about goop. <laughs> all right, you know, I've I've seen goop. I mean, right? you have you have online. a kid, so I've, I'm, I've been I'm assuming and you're I've familiar seen with goop. goop. Yeah, you have a child, so you yeah, you, you know, know about I've, goop. I'm familiar with goop. Yeah. Also, you know, my fiance is white. She knows goop. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so. <laughs> but the point is. And I'm not talking about, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, it's, it's a fucking vagina. No. Nobody wants genital scented candles. Eric about do something. 
Okay, that's different because Erica Badu is literally a goddess. Okay. <laughs> As a person who has touched her and held her hand, I can let you know she's a goddess. Gwyneth Paltrow, I, I have, I've never met. I don't know. But also would never assume that it's she's how anywhere. crazy it is. Uh, nothing against Gwyneth Paltrow because I don't want them problems financially. Um, when I saw it, I was like, Gwyneth Paltrow, goop, what the fuck? And then I was like, oh, she was in all the Iron Mans. I didn't know who she was. As if I but haven't just, seen all the Marvel movies ever. Just listen to these next few sentences. I'm going to give you two sentences, all right? And you tell me which one. For the show. Is it a send off? All right, I'm going to give you two sentences. You tell me which one sound better. Mm-hmm. Erica Badu's Pussy Scented Candles. Mm. That's sentence one. Sentence two. When it's Paltrow Goop. Pussy candle. Vaginal. Vaginal. That's worse. That's more scientific. Oh my god. Like, to fuck, uh, fucking. Gwyneth Paltrow's fucking vaginal candles. Now with urethra squirt. Like, what the fuck? Like, what? All right, we're done. We're done. Let's end it. All right, I'm waiting for the Janelle Monet candles. I'm your host, I am Fives. With me as always, my co host. Those Janelle won't get named. No, end it. No, I don't no, walk. No. I just float. Float on up, float on up. Float. I would move my day for Janelle Monet. To this day. Now I end it. <laughs>